In the newest episode, we finally made it to the tournament arc and we were introduced to the prize for winning, the competitors, and that Raphael was trying to say something about Gopta. As for the prize, if one of the monsters that live in Tempest win, they will get the final spot in Rimuru's Big Four. This group was made to prevent Chian, Benimaru, and Diablo from participating in the tournament. As for if one of the humans were to win, they would get the chance to challenge Rimuru in a 1v1 to try to claim his head. Now that the prize is out of the way, we can talk about the tournament and its competitors. First we have Masayuki who bluffed his way all the way to the finals without fighting a single match. He has the unique skill Chosen One which can influence those around him. This skill boosts his luck up to max making lethal attacks not do their normal damage to even buffing his and his allies damage so that they are guaranteed to hit the most damage possible. Chosen One also manipulates events in his favor to make him be seen in a positive light no matter what. He can turn defeated enemies into allies and also replicate fallen allies abilities, memories, and experiences. Geld also participated in the tournament having his unique skills Guardian which not only allows the user to increase the defense of others and himself but also allows him to take damage for others. His other unique skill is Gourmet which is similar to Rimuru's Gluttony but also has the Art Chaos Eater which corrodes anything it touches. He went up against and lost to the Mysterious Fighter which was just Carry On. He has his unique skill Royal Beast Form which allows him to transform himself into his full beast form, healing all wounds, recovering his energy, and tripling his physical strength. He didn't use this in the tournament, instead he used a bunch of battle arts, such as Elephant Stampede which launches aura projectiles in the air, bombarding the target with constant attacks from above, Roaring Lion which he used on Geld. He gathers aura into his fist and punches the target at full force. It easily broke Geld's defense. Finally he has Tiger Talon which transforms his feet into blade like claws that can send air slashes. Masayuki's party member Jinrai also participated but forfeited against Masayuki in the first match which made Rimuru question if Masayuki manipulated fate to make them fight each other first. All we know is that he's pretty strong, but there's no information on his skills or abilities. Next is Guy who was the first opponent Gob to fault. There's no information on his skills, but he's called the Flowing Swordsman or something like that, so he's probably a very strong swordsman. He ended up losing to Gob and Ranga. We also saw Boyix and Equix, who are two monsters Rimuru ended up naming to be dungeon bosses. They're both said to have strength possibly above that of an ogre. Equix was given the skill Magical Interference which probably disrupts magical attacks, and Boyix was given Ultra Speed Regeneration. They both have other moves, but the final contestant is Gobta who ended up summoning Ranga throughout the fight to help him beat his enemies. He ended up cheesing his way to the end by ripping Carrion's mask and Ranga tackled his other opponent out the ring. Gobta has good swordsmanship and has the unique skill Give Me Strength which allows him to summon Ranga and fuse with him becoming a werewolf. This skill can use some powerful lightning attacks that can annihilate the enemy. Speaking of Gobta, this is probably what Raphael was trying to say or the fact that she knew that Gobta was a lot stronger than Rimuru took him for and decided to let Rimuru see for himself. If you enjoyed this, consider watching another, like and subscribe.